Hey everyone, Lotus Prince here. This is sort of an update. It's like it's not exactly a next game reveal. It's just announcing that I'm going to be uploading something that I'm very excited to have the opportunity to. This is going way back to an older Let's Play I did. Do you remember when I started the Souls playthroughs? There was a video I uploaded. Up, uh, it was a, a Dark Souls mimic. I was just like, look at this awesome monster design. Boy, is that cool. And somebody in the comments, I think, said, are you going to Let's Play Dark Souls? And I was like, no, this game is way too long. Well, uh, <laughs> look at how that turned out. But I started with Demon's Souls, and then I worked my way up in chronological order of release. Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Bloodborne, you know, it, it keeps going. Now, the Demon's Souls Let's Play, I got almost 100% in. Missed that friendship ring. Curses. But I got almost everything that game had to offer, which was pretty nice, and generally I think the Let's Play went over well, but I definitely got some criticism for the way I handled almost every boss fight in the game, because you can absolutely horribly break that game with the bow and arrow, so many bosses just don't know what to do if you stand back and fire at them with the bow and arrow. The Maneater fight in World 1... no, the World 3-2? You can kill a Maneater before you even enter the arena. The gimmick is that there's two of them, like the Bell Tower Gargoyles in Dark Souls, but I just killed one of them. So I entered the arena, and you see his health bar just go boom, and then another man-eater enters. Oh, there's one I have to fight. Okay. And it was a safe playthrough for me, but people said that the boss fights generally were not fun to watch. Well, guess what? I don't know if you've necessarily noticed, if you're one of the, like, three and a half people who watched my, uh, my Remnant from the Ashes boss fight uploads, or... If you notice, if you notice a little something, a little bit of a change in how the trophies were handled partway through my Chaos Child Let's Play, maybe you noticed, but I finally got a PlayStation 5, and I can now play the new Demon's Souls. I'm not going to do an entire Let's Play of that game because I already Let's Played that game, and this isn't like Resident Evil Remake where... It looks the same, but it's really not. Demon Souls is largely the same game. There are very, very few differences. There's like a few quality of life changes. There's new trophies. They change the trophies around. You no longer need to upgrade every weapon, which is very nice. But what I'm going to do with this opportunity is upload a series of videos that's it's gonna be it's gonna consist of two things. The first is it's going to be a series of redemption videos. I'm going to fight the bosses the real way. I'm going to get up close and personal and deal with them as the developers probably intended instead of just pure cheese the entire time. And also, when the opportunity presents itself, I'll show some little differences that the PS5 version of Demon's Souls has as compared to the original version. So if you want to see effectively just a super abridged set of boss videos with some little uh, tweaks, like, oh, this situation was handled differently, then you are in luck. I'm going to be going melee style this time, too. I'm not even going to go full sorcery. So this is going to be, uh, I think, a very different set of videos and hopefully a more entertaining set of boss fights. So I'll upload those every so often. It's not going to be a regular set of, like, every single day or anything, but they'll be around. So prepare for some more delicious, delicious Souls action. Until next time, everyone.